Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm with Nortec Studios. I want to show you my 3D printed Batman cowl today. It took over a year to develop. This cowl was actually being developed for a Batman fan film that I am directing that is filmed through the perspective of the Joker. So it's actually much more like a horror movie where Batman is the myth and the shadows that's going to come out to grab you. And so I wanted a completely different type of Batman, um, not only from the way it is the movie is written and the way it's going to be shot, but also the cowl. So um, I was trying to find a very functional and comfortable cowl, and I went through a couple of these. They're twenty or thirty dollars. I went through one of these big floppy things from Jeff uh, Jester Effects. Don't buy from him. And I actually even tried to make something. I made a pretty good prototype that we actually used in the teaser trailer out of a luchador mask. And I see a lot of guys on the forums um, sometimes asking if anyone has had any success making a cloth style cowl and for those who are interested I really do think that a loot store mask is the way to go. Now on to the 3D cowl. I actually got in touch of an artist named Marco Valenzuela. He did some amazing work. We spent about a year actually trying to develop this and at first he couldn't get the sizing right because he was going purely based on pictures so he actually pulled in a favor from a couple of friends who scanned my head and then he was able to layer the design of the cowl on top of me so it would have a perfect fit. The inside of the cowl is molded to my face as well and I have a couple of strips of EVA foam and some of this hex padding around certain pressure points so that it, has, uh, it fits really nice and snug, very comfortable and actually offers a great deal of protection. First I put on a lycra hood Then I split open the cowl, put the face plate on, ears go over my ears, and then I hook up the Velcro at the jawline. Plenty of ventilation along each temple, around the neck, a little bit on the back of the head. And so we are going to be able to do some really amazing fight scenes and amazing stunts with this comfort and vision and head movement won't be an issue. Thank you everyone for watching. Be on the lookout for more videos in the future. I'm going to be posting some updates on how I built my bat suit, which is actually knife resistant to really take a beating, and on a partially functional grappling gun. That thing's going to be able to actually fire a hook. Pulling my body weight up a building, haven't really figured it out, but I'm really working on it.